Well, it's great to be here, and thanks for inviting me to, to speak here. So I'm from uh, Komodo, and my presentation is about uh, the benefits and challenges of uh, multi-chain architecture. So at um, Komodo is uh, like a technology provider. We provide blockchain technology for companies, businesses, developers, and and if you are building on with blockchain technology, or if you are looking to build with blockchain technology, this then this presentation is for you. All right. So so what is Komodo? Where do we come from? What about the story? So basically, Komodo was founded on 2016, but our roots go back to 2014 when our team was building on top of a um, third-party platform and um, different kind of blockchain solutions. And then we kind of run into problems and identified that there's certain shortcomings with that uh, platform model. And kind of there wasn't changes that the platform developers made and then that broke, broke our um, uh, technologies, so we were, they were not backward compatible, and uh, and then that led us to think about how could we build a better platform. We have like a two ma major val values that we think. We think that the blockchain technology should be built, uh, always should be open source and free for the businesses to use. And then another big one is the sovereignty. So we believe that whoever is building on top of the blockchain should have the freedom and control over their own platform. So if you look at the different ways to how, how you can get to start with blockchain today, so there are basically three ways. You can uh, kind of build something from scratch. So you can just start coding and build your own protocol. That's pretty hard to do and takes a long time, but it's you get full flexibility and you can fully customize on what, what you do. Or, or then you can just kind of fork something existing, like let's say Ethereum, and try to improve on that and provide a better, better solution. Or, or then you can use an existing platform and that, that kind of allows you to very easily to launch your project, you get everything you need, you don't need to worry about security and so forth. So it's, it's a quick time to market, but also the least flexible and there's no autonomy like we experienced back in 2014. So then what we, are, what we were trying to do when we launched the Komodo, we, we wanted to kind of take all these three approaches and combine them and, and get the best of it. So I kind of have uh, this uh, little thought experiment that if you, if you all um, think about that each of you would be a blockchain and you are all building you are your own project and you're trying to build something. And now that you, you have your own blockchain, it means that you are completely sovereign from anything else and you can also customize your solution better so you don't have to rely on anything else. You get to put the code you won't need to, to make a purpose-built blockchain. And then at the same time, what, what's kind of the benefit of forking a project is that if you, if you all, if all the blockchains were kind of made from the same tree, so to speak, then that means that if, if I make an innovation, then you would be able to kind of just copy it from me and put your own blockchain if, if you so choose. So then when there's like hundreds of projects innovating, then they can share the technological inno um, innovations that, that they make. But then if, if, if you are independent blockchains, that, that brings some problems like security, for example. How do you secure your chain? And that's really what the platform really provides. So we, we need to solve that too, um, to make sure that, that you still have the benefits of the platform even though you are your sovereign blockchain. So I'm gonna go more in detail about the um, kind of the differences to this single chain platform model that is the most popular at the moment. So we have like a new approach that we take. 
So I will talk about that, uh, that this single chain architecture model, model and, and our solution was the multi-chain architecture so everyone gets their own blockchain. And then the second one is the, that these platforms have smart contracts and in a way they are somewhat limited. So they are kind of abstracted on top of the blockchain and you are running like a virtual machine where, where the smart, smart contracts live. Um, but now that everyone has their own blockchain, we are able to build what we call custom consensus modules that we have a library of, and you can just pick and choose the ones you need to your chain, and the kind of the logic runs inside the blockchain consensus itself, making the programmability more more secure and um, and, and other uh, benefits. And then a third component is the proxy token exchange model that is very popular with the single chain platform model, uh, which means that um, that if, if you all are a project on a single chain platform model, then you could trade your tokens decentrally inside the blockchain with, with the smart contract. So you are able to create a decentralized exchange inside a single chain platform. However, the problem comes in when you want to trade with a coin that's not on the same blockchain, but let's say Bitcoin. So in, in that case, you need to solve that with the proxy token. So you need to create an IOU that, that then the traders are trading IOU instead of real bit, uh, Bitcoin. So for example, if, if I'm a bank and you have Bitcoin and you want to trade on the on the single chain platform, then you would send your bitcoins to me, and I return your IOU, and then you are trading IOUs decentrally without trust. But however, if for one reason I would just disappear with the bitcoins, then the IOU or the proxy token is worthless. So in a way, it's not 100% decentralized solution. So our solution is to develop cross-chain atomic swaps, which allow which allow the, you to trade from blockchain to blockchain with the real coins, so, so it would actually be trading with real Bitcoins or real Litecoins or real Komodo. And whatever chain, every chain would have their own coin and they would be able to trade that. And here are the kind of the solutions to match. So we have the Komodo Core, which provides the platform benefits, such as the security, scalability, and interoperability. And as um, a blockchain can then tap into this and get the same benefits as, as an, from a normal platform. And then we have the Antara framework, which is used to develop those custom consensus modules that brings kind of the logic to the blockchain, makes them programmable. And then we have Atomic Dex, which is our technology for the Atomic Swap Exchange. So, in Komodo, we don't actually talk about blockchains, we talk about smart chains. So we, we came up with the term to describe better, better the blockchains that they are no longer this type of calculator like, like Bitcoin is, but because of the Antara framework, we can actually apply logic to the blockchain itself, similar to kind of, kind of like, like a smart contract, but, but it functions very differently and the architecture is different. So smart chains are Sovereign, you control your own smart chain. No one can say you what, what it, it, nothing can change unexpectedly. They are purpose built, so you can fully customize your chain. And then they are modular in, in, the, in the architecture. Okay, so here's just a quick summary. So basically, the smart chains use the Commodore Core to get the security. Which, which you get Bitcoin level security because we piggyback to the Bitcoin blockchain. So we kind of run a distributed network of notaries that then take the block hash of your blockchain and group sign it to the Bitcoin blockchain. And that way you get a backup there. And then we have um, scalability in which you can cluster these smart chains together into a smart chain cluster. And then that way you can increase the, 
transaction throughput, uh, the TPS. And then there's also cross-chain interoperability where the data is shared between all the blockchains. And then under the framework is basically Turing complete. There's no gas fees like, like on Ethereum and the single chain model. And it's modular. So then if we are talking about uh, launching blockchains, they have to be as easy to launch as, um, as on Ethereum with the ERC20 token. So, so our solution is the Antara Composer. And with that, you can launch a blockchain in minutes, customize it the way you want, and add in the, the Antara modules you need. And then on the background, it spins up the, the necessary server infrastructure, generates you a wallet and explorer and everything you need, and, and you're good to go. Then the Atomic Swap. We are the lead, lead, leaders of the Atomic Swap technology. We have a, a, a reference application called Atomic Dex Wallet. It's currently in beta, and you can already download it. So if you go to atomicdex.io, you can down, download it on Android and iOS. And it basically is non-custodial trading, unrestricted in trading pairs. You can trade from Bitcoin to Litecoin directly. There's no need to even have Komodo. And there's a shared liquidity pool. And the idea is that all the wallets and all the exchanges will share the same liquidity. So you could also build an exchange based on our technology. And then you would tap to the same liquidity pool that we are using. And that way we solve the liquidity problem. And we are focusing on developer recommendation. We are trying to make the platform very developer friendly. And at the moment, we have over 1,000 pages of documentation. If you want to learn, learn more about Komodo, you can go to developers.comodoplatform.com. And then lastly, basically, we are looking to VC investments, strategic partnerships and more service providers and developers in general. So if you are interested about Komodo, if you are looking to build with blockchain, then reach out to us and we, we, let's see what we can do. Like we, we are looking for, for partners who could build kind of vertical solutions with us as we want to focus on the core blockchain development. We are not looking to build the end use cases we want someone between us to build a business solution, let's say a supply chain solution on a gaming platform or anything like that. So with Komodo, you can build your own platform. And if, if there's someone who's interested in that, then then reach out. And you can learn, learn more from komodoplatform.com, atomicdex.io for the Atomic Swap wallet, and composer.kmd.io is the way to launch your own smart chain. Thank you.